Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today I want to talk to you about a controversial topic. Groups are temporary. Okay, so like, yeah, not killer controversial, but uh, I do want to talk about the concept of using groups for a little bit and then getting rid of them and how that works. Uh, not all the time. I mean, groups are still going to be good. We'll talk about when, when to use groups, when not, and where you might just use them as tools. Let's take a look right now. All right, so first things first, let's talk about general use of groups. So groups, uh, we have videos on this too. If, you, if, you're, if you're like, what's a group? Uh, that's cool, no problem. Uh, go ahead and go into our web or, or into our YouTube channel and search for groups and components and you'll learn all about them. Um, what a group does primarily is isolates geometry. So as soon as I go and start drawing, I draw some stuff like I drew this, this shape right here, this board, uh, the idea being that this uh, metal, maybe this a metal piece sl slots into this gap on the board. That's, that's the idea here. So if I wanted to, when this, when I'm done modeling this, I'd come in, select, right click, make it a group. Now this group is isolated. So that means I can take this piece right here, I can drop it right here. And then if I wanna move it later, I can take it away. If I don't do that, if these were just all raw geometry, and I was to grab this right here, pick it up, plop it in here. This is cringe stuff, right? Because then when I take that and I move it, oh, it's all connected, it's all stuck together. This is SketchUp uh, sticky geometry doing exactly what it's supposed to do, which has two segments come in line with each other, they join. All right, so I'm gonna undo that and I'm gonna put that back into a group and I'm gonna put this back into a group. All right, so that, I mean, that's, that is the fundamentally why we use groups right there. But I'm gonna propose an idea. What if there's other reasons we wanna use a group? I'm gonna say I'm gonna put this one right here. And then in this slot right here, I need a similar holder that, where the height's the same, but this, this round piece, for whatever reason, is turned 90 degrees, okay? So maybe something sits inside here. And I need one that goes the other direction. So if I come into the group, I'm gonna double click. Uh, that's another thing. If you want to get in and change geometry in a group, just double click. Don't don't be exploding. That's that's not necessary. There are times where it makes sense to explode, and we'll see that, but not right now. So if I want to turn this 90 degrees, um, just kind of as a tip, if I want to turn that around the middle of this cylinder, if I go to view and I turn on my hidden geometry, I'll get that dotted line, and I can just kind of move my camera right above. See, here's the middle line. So when I go to rotate. I can hover, hover till I find the middle, hit the up arrow to lock into that blue axis, and then grab it and turn it 90 degrees. Now, looking from here, it doesn't look too bad, but if I come down here and see what that did, that was not ideal. That was That is not what I want to have be happening right here. Actually, you know, doing some cleanup here could be kind of cool, but this is not the thing I want. What I want is this piece down here, similar to where it is before, but with this turned sideways. So I can't do that because undo of SketchUp's sticky geometry. What I can do is I can grab this, I can right click and I can make it its own group. As soon as I make it its own group, look what happened. It is now separate from this section below. So you'll notice that it did duplicate geometry, right? This edge right here, these edges coming around here are both in this group and in this group. That's cool, that's awesome. That's the way it should be, it should be like that. Um, but what's not happening is these two are no longer connected. So what I could do now is I go through the process of turning this, then putting it down and rejoining with the bottom. I'm gonna take an extra step right here and group select everything down here, right click, make that into a separate group. Now, realistically, as long as one of these two pieces is inside of a group, uh, I'm good, right? Because if this is in a group, it can't merge anything down here, so raw geometry on here is safe. I like to put it in its own group because say I was to do something like, I'll put this back down here, and then when I go to grab this group, for whatever reason, if I like do a group select right now like this, I'm not getting any of the geometry that's part of this lower group because I'm not selecting that group. I'm dragging left to right, using that solid group, only things that are totally inside of that selection window get selected. This is safe because I can't select it. So not a requirement, but something worth considering. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm gonna use the handles. Oops, wrong guy. I'm gonna take the handles rotate it around the middle, 90 degrees, Come over here, I'm noticing, you can see how that's off center, right? So I'm just gonna move it to center. I'm just gonna grab this and move it right over to center and have it line up like that, perfect. Um, so obviously this geometry is not gonna close up. I got gaps and everything. So I, 
one of the things about putting it in a group that's kind of nice is I can do something like double click and then just edit this geometry. Um, right now, obviously this geometry is hard to see because this other shadow geometry is in the way, but that's easy enough because I can go to view component, edit, say hide rest of model. And now I can do something like, uh, let's just draw a rectangle from here to here, delete this little arc, delete this little arc. And then uh, if we go back up, so I actually have a shortcut key assigned to hide rest of model. So I can toggle it over real quick with a, a shortcut key. I do that a lot when I have modeling groups or components. I can take this and I can move it straight down. And I just want that to kind of bury itself in like that. And maybe, maybe I'll go a little bit further and I'll take this piece and take it right up to the edge of this thing. All right, so maybe that's what my holder needs to look like. So the base is looking pretty good. Top obviously has an issue. So let's slip, let's uh, flip over, grab that. Okay, so yeah, I got to get this over here. So I'm gonna go to view again, hide rest the model. And I want to get this over here. So there's a couple ways I could do this. I could click here, click here, erase this, erase this. And I could do that each time around the half, this half a circle. Uh, but not everybody enjoys doing or watching stitching so much as I do. That's what that's called when we stitch geometry together. So what I can do instead is turn so I'm looking at right on the edge like this, do a group select left to right like that, so that I get just the lines of this arc right here. And watch this, if I just go to move, grab it, slide it over, then I can just hit delete and it's closed up. So model smarter, not harder. As much as I would have enjoyed sitting there and clicking and clicking and putting all the stitching, all that stuff together. Uh, that's probably a better, quicker, easier way to do it. All right. So now I bring these two back. Awesome. They are looking perfect. Uh, another advantage of grouping geometry as you work on it is if this is a solid tool or a solid group, I can use solid tools to just put these two together. This one right here is not solid. So if I was to go in and try to figure out what this was, I would probably want to take, it looks okay from the outside. I'm going to turn off and go view hidden geometry and turn it off. So the circles don't look quite so weird. But if I look at this in 3d space, this looks pretty good. Um, so what I like to do if I have a problem is double click, I'm just going to right click and hide the bottom face You can see right away. Oh, here's the problem. I have this face on the inside, delete that, edit, unhide last. And now I got a solid tool. And like I said, because I have these two pieces, I can select both of them. Go to tools, just say outer shell, that'll work just fine. And there we go. Now I have a new version of whatever this holder is. That I can pick up in its group, plop it right over here and drop it right where it needs to be. And again, it's still in a group now because for whatever reason, I, I, odds are good if I was really modeling this, this would be a component, this would be a different component. Uh, but anyhow, the, 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 the object it sits in, the container it sits in, can be temporary. So when I do want to do that, it's a great way to isolate geometry and separate geometry from the rest of the model and lets you do easy cleanup and merging geometry like that. So again, not saying all groups are temporary, but there's a chance that you can use a group to temporarily isolate geometry and make edits like that. Uh, yeah, let me know if you've done this before. Let me know if you've done something like this. Let me know if you have a workflow that does this specifically or maybe something slightly different. Uh, I'm not saying I have you know all of it figured out, obviously, but I love to hear what you guys are doing, how you're using SketchUp, and tell me, like, did I miss something? Is there a better way to do this? Is there a different way to do this? If you haven't already, please click like down below and obviously subscribe. We create a lot of videos and you know about all of them, including our live streams every Friday, if you subscribe. Most important, like I was just saying, leave us a comment down below. Tell us what you think of this. Let us know if you have other ideas that you think would make a good video. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.